Welcome to CBC Mount Edmund. We are an independent English medium Catholic school based in Pretoria, Gauteng. Our college provides quality education for boys and girls from grade triple R to grade 12. Founded on the 8th of September 1922 in the administrative capital of South Africa, Gauteng, CBC Mount Edmund has always maintained a culture of inclusivity under the Edmund Rice tradition. CBC Mount Edmund was the first boys' school in Pretoria to open its doors to learners from all races, as well as expanding to include both boys and girls from 1994. We are the only private Catholic school that is co-educational and a combined school in Pretoria. CBC Mount Edmund is rooted in teaching gospel values over and above the strong academic program offered by the skilled and qualified teachers. We aim to develop independent learners who are critical thinkers with Jesus Christ at the center of what they do. We are founded under the Edmund Rice tradition, which means we are part of a worldwide network of schools. Staying true to our values of faith, leadership and excellence is what makes us a true school of excellence. We are a truly proud, faith-based family college that cares about accompanying every child on their life journey towards achieving excellence. Follow me as I show you your child's journey. Our preschool, aptly named Little Mount, was a welcome addition to the college in 2009. You can walk through life with us as we take your child on a journey of self-discovery from age three. Even at this young age, we start molding our future leaders. Our qualified staff offer a safe, caring and stimulating environment for children to develop in. We offer a curriculum which is creative and enjoyable, focusing on the child's holistic development, both academically and spiritually. At the preschool stage, we ignite the learner's curiosity by offering them fun and exciting opportunities to learn about the world around them and develop through age-appropriate activities. Hi, Inesh. Hi, Mr. Langton. Let me introduce you to Mr. Ines Chetty, our Head of Primary School. Thank you, Mr. Langton. As Head of Primary School, I am passionate about providing a holistic approach to the teaching and learning processes, catering for the specific needs of learners and staff. Servant leadership is a vital component of the campus, and children from the preschool up until Grade 7 are exposed to core values to empower them to practice compassion, kindness and love. At the heart of the primary school is a desire to support our children in their educational journey, not just academically, but also in the spiritual, sporting and cultural areas. My personal motto is that every child has a voice and thus the college creates an environment that nurtures, exposes and taps into each learner's innate ability to succeed. Let me introduce you to Ms. Chantal Allo the head of department in the foundation phase, where our focus is on the developmental needs of learners from grade R to grade 3. Thank you, Inesh. In the foundation phase, starting from grade R, our learners are taught social skills through fantasy and outdoor play, as well as creative activities, stories and perceptual activities. The transition from grade R to grade 1 involves prime focus on the development of the whole child in a supportive environment. In Grade 1, learners are taught English home language and have a choice to select a first additional language of either Afrikaans or Sepedi. Our foundation phase ensures learners are equipped with all the language, mathematical and life skills needed in order to continue their transition journey into the intermediate phase. Hello, my name is Godfrey and I'm in Grade 1 and I like going to CBC because it can Play in the big sandpan and you can get lots of lots of friends and you can swim in the big pool, the small pool and you can do lots of lots of homework. 
The CBC Aftercare Centre provides supervised care for primary school children after school. Our aim is to ensure that we offer high quality care for children attending pre-primary to grade 5 in a safe, friendly, age-appropriate environment for children. Our centre provides opportunities for children to participate in stimulating activities and dynamic play to encourage both individual and social group engagements. Quality aftercare helps children develop their potential in all areas of emotional, social and physical development. We provide supervised homework and facilitate planned activities as well as encourage spontaneous forms of play. Our staff show the children respect as individuals and respond to their needs in a warm, safe and friendly environment. The global pandemic of COVID-19 resulted in the college starting remote online teaching and learning in March 2020. Staff spent hours preparing for this platform to ensure that our CBC family would be accommodated during the lockdown. I'm so pleased to share that the learners have adapted so well and learned new technological skills while learning from home. Staff are providing new opportunities using this platform and the college has received positive support from parents and children. As you all know, we're in a tough time with this pandemic. But we should all stay positive and think positive during this time because it will pass by. The most important thing that will come out of this crisis will be an increased ability for people to feel compassion for others and to act upon it. In catering for the uniqueness of each child, the college has a learner support center which has a team of experts which include remedial teachers, educational psychologists and an occupational and speech therapist. Let me hand you over to Ms. Lucia Fontana to provide you with more information on our pastoral care at the college. Thank you, Inesh. At CBC Mount Edmund, we promote the dignity, self-esteem and full development of each person who is made in God's image and uniquely loved by God. The ethos of the college promotes the spiritual, moral, intellectual, social and personal development rooted in the uniqueness of our learners and their need for individual support and guidance. Our pastoral care dimension is the ethos of the college, centered around all involved in the CBC family. At the college, we firmly believe that high standards of behavior lead to an increased level of achievement, enjoyment and participation. We look to cultivate a community which promotes tolerance, respect and sensitivity to the needs of others, equipping learners to realize their duties and responsibilities to their neighbors, as well as their personal rights and freedom. The college is firmly committed to developing and maintaining strong home college partnerships and we welcome and encourage parents to be closely involved so that together we strive to holistically support each child to reach their full potential. We have two in-house registered educational psychologists available on a daily basis to support our learners with a variety of emotional, scholastic and social aspects of their development. At CBC Mount Edmund, the literacy program forms a key component of the college. Let me introduce you to Ms. Lynn Harrison that heads the media centre at CBC Mount Edmund. Over to you, Lynn. Thank you, Anish. This is our library classroom, which our Foundation for His Children actually enjoy classes once a week. The primary school children enjoy coming into the library once a week for a reading period. We have three active book clubs which are well supported. The primary school journey started in the pre-primary phase at Little Mount and saw our learners progressing to the foundation phase. To ensure a seamless transition of learning from the developmental phase, children in grade 4 to 7 move to the intermediate and senior phase of the college, where they are afforded an opportunity to experience a wide range of new content and skills, enabling them to work more independently. Let me introduce you to the Head of Department for the Intermediate Phase that manages Grade 4 to 7. Over to Mr. Keegan Skinner. Thank you very much, Mr. Chetty. Intermediate Phase learners at CBC Mount Edmund become aware of themselves in a wider context than children in a family, but rather a larger community. The Intermediate Phase runs from Grade 4 to Grade 7. Now during this phase, learners concentrate on enhancing their knowledge, improving literacy and study skills as assessment becomes more rigorous. This happens while promoting independence, inspiring curiosity and stimulating creativity in a safe environment. The use of technology is promoted in the phase. This is achieved by an integration of technology in the classroom and online, providing the learners with the skills to confidently develop in our digital age. 
with guidance from staff, peers and learning experiences. Learners are given the opportunity to grow independently and are taught the importance of responsibility and teamwork. We always leaned on each other when it came to different situations and as we grew older we liked different things so we butted heads a lot but that just made us stronger. Gabe and I help each other with lots of stuff including being a prefect, being a better prefect and that stuff. In this welcoming and inviting section, each learner is given the necessary personal attention in an inclusive environment whilst given the opportunity to learn through discovery. We foster a love for reading, creativity, independence and critical thinking. In the case where learners require an extra individual attention, our staff run academic enrichment programs to further assist the learners in need, review a topic or extend the learner's knowledge even further. CBC Mount Edmunds Primary School offers a truly maturing, encompassing, active and rewarding experience while ensuring that our values and ethos shine in every aspect. I chose to go to CBC Mount Edmund. If I were to put it in a simpler way, it was simply for their quality education. I knew that their teachers would guide me to excel in my studies and achieve my goals. I received a healthy balance between academic, sporting and spiritual focus. As part of our learning experiences, we want our learners to immerse themselves in the discovery of knowledge. An example of this was a truly breathtaking educational expedition to Antarctica, whereby we were at 70 degrees below the equator, ice cold freezing temperatures ranging at minus 35 degrees Celsius, breathing the cleanest air that the earth has to offer and interacting with the most beautiful untouched landscape. And it does not get any more immersive than that. There's a famous saying that variety adds spice to life. Learning at CBC Mount Edmund is not just in the classroom. The Arts and Culture Department is full of buzz as learners are exposed to creative arts, music and drama as some of the core skills learnt. I hand you over to Mr. Brian Barger who heads the Arts and Culture Department to share the innovation and exciting opportunities children are exposed to at the college. Over to you Brian. Thank you Inish. We consider all of our arts activities to be as much a part of the basic curriculum as any academic subject. In fact, much of what is done in the arts not only encourages our learners to participate at the college, but also helps to develop the holistic life skills that they will use throughout their lives. These include an awareness of how they present their work and communicate to an audience. For me, the most exciting aspect about public speaking is seeing how people react to my speech if I've provoked any thought, and if they change their beliefs from before they heard the speech. The following arts are therefore included in a learner's journey at CBC Mount Edmund. Art, dance, photography, public speaking, drama, book club, poetry, choir, chess, quizzes, music, and vocal training. The college hosts a number of annual arts events where photography and artwork from our learners is exhibited. Events have also been established during the course of the year where our learners get the opportunity to showcase their music skills, original poetry and drama skills in front of audiences and adjudicators. In short, we have an excellent drama department which has produced wonderful theatre productions from all the phases in the college. Participation is encouraged and enthusiasm is always rewarded with a strong sense of accomplishment for all. Hello, Sherelle. Hi, Mr. Langton. Let me introduce you to Mrs. Sherelle Meiberg, our Head of Religion. You can take it from here. Thank you, Mr. Langton. 
CBC Mount Edmund is a caring community that follows Catholic tradition. We offer a holistic education which respects the uniqueness of each learner and nurtures the individual talents and gifts so that everyone may feel valued, confident and secure, knowing they are loved by God and have an immense capacity to achieve great things and strive for personal excellence. Originally, most Catholic schools were established to respond to the needs of socially and economically disadvantaged people and were seen as agents of transformation. Faced with the competitive and materialistic pressures in our society today, learners are bombarded by messages about what counts as success. We try to inspire learners to go through life with a sense of purpose, a sense of their own dignity and self-worth, as well as to respect others, guided by gospel values in a spirit of love and service. We encourage everyone to contribute to the creation of a just society that helps care for the poor and marginalised. CBC Mount Edmund supports parents in their role as the primary educators in the faith formation of their children. The religious education programme is at the heart of the college curriculum. Instruction in the sacraments is offered to learners practising the Catholic faith. Daily prayers, weekly assemblies and liturgies help to nurture their spiritual growth and well-being. The curriculum taught during ORI lessons is based on guidelines given to schools by the Catholic Institute of Education and supported by the Catholic Schools Office. The chaplaincy exists in our colleges, uh, born of the fact that the person, the human person, according to the understanding of the Catholic Church, consists of the body and soul. And we carry these two dimensions of our lives everywhere we go. And so it's very important that we inculcate, even in a learner from their childhood stage, that they are a two-dimensional creature, both physical and spiritual. Ladies and gentlemen, our head of high school, Mr. Sean Oliver. Thank you. In the high school at CBC Mount Edmund, we strive to produce well-rounded individuals that are able to make a positive contribution to society. From the first day in grade eight, our learners start the journey towards obtaining the coveted college honors blazer. Honors blazers are awarded to those grade 11 learners who have excelled in academics, sport, culture, and service. Getting my honors blazer at prize giving last year was really also such a great experience but it didn't feel like hard work in fact I really enjoyed it and I really looked forward to such events where I could um, offer my help and I did it with my friends so it was such it was so amazing. Our learners choose from the following subjects superior Afrikaans as first additional languages mathematics or mathematical literacy physical science life sciences accounting business studies information technology, history, geography, visual arts, robotics and hospitality studies. From the chalkboard to the whiteboard to the smartboard and now moving on to engineering and mechanics. The evolution of the classroom is forever advancing and our learners have the privilege of being part of the fourth industrial revolution through our robotics program. Mr. De Oliveira has more. Thank you. Robotics was first introduced in CVC Mount Edmund in 2016. These classes were introduced to inspire young learners and develop an early interest in robotics, engineering and programming. Since then, robotics has grown every year, resulting in CBC offering co-curricular grade 4 robotics classes and extracurricular robotics classes for grade 5 all the way to grade 12. Grade 4 robotics involves a weekly robot programming lessons for the robot which the students built at the beginning of the year and our focus at grade 4 level is to introduce the students to basic programming concepts and robot hardware. Grade 5 robotics will build on the students previous year's knowledge and will focus on novice level programming concepts and problem solving skills. In addition to that, they will also be focusing on debugging skills. These skills will be ultimately used in their first 
competition, which is the WRO Explorer category. The grade six to grade 12 robotics students will focus on intermediate and advanced programming and are expected to design, build, and program a robot in order to compete in the yearly World Robotic Olympiad Challenges. These challenges are provincial and national challenges. Our last category is for the older robotic learners who have prior WRO experience or World Robotics competition experience and advanced robotics programming skills. These students will be invited to compete in the robotics football category. In 2019, CBC saw two of our football teams have great success in the football category. We were placed provincially first and second, and at the national competition we came first and third. Our St. Gabriel's team represented South Africa at the World Robot Olympiad 2019, which was held in Hungary, and we were ultimately ranked in the top 16 worldwide. It enhances your cognitive ability and you become part of a team like a family that is willing to assist each other in any way, both the school team and the South African team. At CBC, we believe that it's important to prepare the current and future generation of students for the fourth industrial revolution. In our college, hospitality studies is one of the fastest growing subjects in the high school. From the humble beginnings in the 1990s to producing chefs who practice their crafts in international kitchens, and most recently claiming the prize for being the best cooking school nationally. CBC Hospitality has grown in leaps and bounds. Mrs. Lorraine von Felden has more. The Hospitality Department at CBC started off as a Home Economics Department in 1994. In 1998 we made the change to Hospitality Studies. This change brought about the opening of our own small school restaurant. The subject teaches students how not to only cook the food for the restaurant but also run the restaurant in all aspects. This is truly a very valuable skill to have for the rest of your life. This subject provides for students who love working with their hands as well as the creative students. Cooking is such a fashionable item at the moment and this is a wonderful opportunity to be part of this. We take part in many school chefs competitions and have won the Pick and Pay National School Chefs Competition as well as the Pro Arte competition a few times. Our most recent accomplishment includes two of our learners winning the National 2019 School of Cook Competition. The School of Cook Competition was probably one of the most nerve-wracking situations I've ever been in my life. But thanks to the classes that I've had since grade 8 till now of hospitality with Mrs. Van Falden, it, it felt like I was at home. Some of our former students are well-known chefs in South Africa and abroad. Angelo Scaracco and Vusi Ndlovo was in the top 10 of the San Pellegrino Junior World Chef Competition. Vusi Ndlovo captained the South African Culinary Olympic team and Angelo opened his own restaurant in Barcelona, Spain. We believe in being passionate about our subject and we would like to instill the same passion in our students. At CBC Hospitality Department, we literally cook up a storm. All grade nine students do hospitality studies as a subject. The main aim in this year is to teach basic practical skills. The students cook every week and are extremely proud of their creations. From grade 10, learners have the opportunity to take hospitality studies as a subject of choice. This is a very popular choice as it caters for strong academic learners as well as those who love working with their hands. The students are exposed to many different types of functions such as dad's breakfast, mom's tea, cocktail functions and our very popular restaurant nights. As a mother, uh, the biggest thing that CBC has done for me is to mother my kids from, from my home. When I'm at work and I'm busy and I'm hectic, I know someone is out there looking after my child with love and kindness, praying for them. You know, prayer is a big thing. Reminding them about God every day, that they stop and say, God, thank you that you are here. That's, that touches my heart. I appreciate that. The teachers are very helpful. They, 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 they share with us everything about the child. They know the child in and out, not only academically, but socially, emotionally. That's what my experience was and our love. With my three kids here, it has been wonderful. So for me, it's about how they, they build a family for them. How if they can talk to me about anything, they are more than welcome to call their teachers. You know, that's how beautiful. And the teacher will say, when was the last time you spoke to your son? Uh, is he well? Then I'll know that uh, probably he wasn't doing well. And it's called the teacher. 
what about that? That's beautiful. They've got more fathers to father them than my own husband. They've got more mothers that are in the school and the love and support from the teachers. Amazing. My daughter uh, uh, loves uh, the school. Uh, she is uh, part of the soccer for the girls. She's also part of the netball uh, in the school. She also does um, uh, softball. I honestly wasn't expecting to get the scholarship award when writing the test. Um, I can say that I was pleasantly surprised to find out that I was accepted in CBC, let alone getting the scholarship. It was exciting just preparing for the Mandela Day because uh, I saw that it brought that unity between us as parents and the kids. Because our idea as parents is that education is not just the responsibility of the school. We are in partnership, it's the parents, and then it's the teachers, and then it's the kids as well. So because of that, it's been very exciting being in a school that allows the involvement of parents. Parenting is not just for us, it is for the school. Teaching is not for the school, it is also for us as parents. That's it. Shababa. Let's go, let's go. Chest up. That's it. Three more. And give me two more. Aye, Max. One more. Aye. One more. Mr. Max Mukherzi, our Sergeant Major, Head of Sport. Max, over to you, brother. Thank you, Selected. Just make sure that your weights are put away properly. Thank you. In our efforts to produce well-rounded individuals, we acknowledge the importance of providing the opportunity for our learners to not only excel in their academics, but also at sporting activities. We strive to provide our learners with the best sporting facilities and coaching. The CBC Sports Department has embraced the vision to provide all our learners with the necessary conditioning to be successful on the field of play. Our sports department values our college ethos, therefore we take into consideration the three pillars of our college and how we apply ourselves through faith, leadership and excellence. We aim to promote and develop an active lifestyle in and around our college through our vibrant sporting programs whilst continuously creating awareness for the need to participate and strive for excellence. We aim to have one of the best sporting programs running within the college. The unique abilities and specialized skills of our sporting staff will allow us to continuously grow and excel. Together with our academic and cultural staff, we look to bring about a positive outlook and continuous participation in multiple activities to ensure that our wonderful college continues to excel. Throughout the college we have different sporting activities such as play golf, learn to swim, mini cricket, hockey, soccer, swimming, netball, basketball, ballet and karate. The college was established in 1922 for 56 boys in Linwood. In 1968, the college moved to its current site, hence Mount Edmund, on a mount, in honor of the founder of Christian Brothers Education, Edmund Rice. Tradition of 98 years of providing quality education, CBC Mount Edmund is an English medium Catholic school in Pretoria. In 1994, the school opened its doors to include boys and girls, making it the only Catholic school that is co-educational and a combined school in Pretoria. We embrace the culture of inclusivity. The holistic development of our learners is our priority, mind, body and spirit. We are a proud, faith-based family college that cares about accompanying every child on the journey towards achieving excellence. The college is founded under the Edmund Rice tradition. This means we are part of a worldwide network of schools. Our learners are exposed to various interactions with the network of ER schools. Learners are exposed to various character building, skill building and team building excursions. Our mission statement is faith, leadership, excellence. Faith, our pastoral care team, management, educational psychologists, life orientation teachers and the chaplain meet regularly to ensure that the emotional and spiritual welfare of our community is nurtured and enhanced. Catholic students are afforded the opportunity to enhance their sacramental development. Leadership, 
We encourage and inspire our learners to reach out to others, thus giving them the opportunity to realize their own responsibility to assist those in need. Excellence. We offer excellent education with wide range of subjects. Our teachers are qualified and at the forefront of their fields of expertise. Over and above our strong academic program offered by our teachers, we aim to develop independent learners who are critical thinkers with Jesus Christ at the center of what they do. We are dedicated, hardworking teachers who will effectively prepare a child for any career. Learners are given the opportunity to learn through discovery and later find their passion and grow in their individual talents. Smaller classes, closer attention given to struggling students. Our school has a beautiful, peaceful environment in which to spend a day. As an independent school, we believe that our main call is to put the needs of our children first.